And also, we'll be taking you live to the Ottawa Civic Center, live via satellite, where Ben Johnson, the world record holder at 110 meters, is set to go in the 55-meter run. Ben Johnson, is there any way he can equal or surpass what he accomplished a year ago? Phil, I think there is. He has po the possibility of running just a little bit faster and maybe still improving his fabulous start. Of course, Larry, there's a lot of people who perhaps would disagree with you in saying maybe we have seen the finest of Ben Johnson as we look live now at the Ottawa Civic Center in Ottawa, Canada. But at a point you made, he is still very, very young. Well, he has, and you can run at your top speed up to the age of probably 27, and then as basketball players can tell you, Phil, you lose that step a little bit. A few moments ago, Ben Johnson in his 55-meter dash heat. Also in the field from the United States, Thomas Jefferson and Canada's Glenroy Gil Gilbris. Keep an eye on lane two. That is a man whose body truly looks like it was sculpt sculptured. Amazing power and strength. I've never seen a start like it. He kind of leaps up off the ground. His reaction times, no one has ever been faster. And just look at the start. Ben Johnson gets it. Oh, he is pulling away from the field already. Ben Johnson gliding to victory. And his heat of the 55-meter dash a few moments ago in Ottawa, Canada. Still upcoming, we will bring you live the finals. Ben Johnson and the 55 meters from Ottawa. Now we take you back to the Ottawa Civic Center in Ottawa, Canada. Where the world champion... Ben Johnson, who set the world bar at the World Championships in the 110 meters. 9.83 seconds, and he is set to go. He won his heat earlier tonight there at the Civic Center, and he made it look easy. In the middle of the track, wearing white, is that legendary countenance of Ben Johnson. He is in lane three. Standing next to him in the gold from McNeese State, the national TAC champion in the long jump last year, Brian Cooper. There he is in gold. Thus far, but now we switch you again to Ottawa, where Ben Johnson and company are set to go. Johnson and White has a reaction time to the starters gun of approximately one-tenth of a second. Carl Lewis and the rest of mankind is between 15 and 20 one, one hundredths of a second, so they're closer to two tenths. Watch the lead he gets by the first 10 or 15 steps. Larry, I often wonder what the other sprinters feel when they settle into the blocks. Thomas Jefferson, Brian Cooper, Darren Council, what they must be thinking as they line up to go against a man who, at the ripe old age of 23, is already a legend. Phil, I think it makes them focus on trying to get as good a start as you can. You don't want to look bad in the block, so you're really focusing and trying to get out as best as you can. Tremendous concentration is required in this event. His reaction time in Rome was 12 one hundredths of a second. Jefferson on the right is the Olympic bronze medalist at 200 meters. This is a good field. Cooper Watch. in the gold, Ben Johnson in white, Darren Council on the extreme left in royal blue. It is an outstanding start. And just look at Johnson explode out of the blocks. Ben Johnson and Brian Cooper, and it'll be the world champion, Ben Johnson, running the victory live in Ottawa, Canada. That is the closest I've seen anybody stay with that man in probably 10 races going back to the indoor season last year. Cooper ran very well. Watch the start. Notice how much wider apart Johnson's arms are. He leaps out of the blocks. Watch his leg action. Bang. His right foot is down very quickly. It gets him a better acceleration. Cooper running very well. Still a student in college. Looking to begin to hold his ground. He really lost very little once he was able to accelerate midway into the race. Ben Johnson, who has already announced he will run exclusively in his homeland of Canada here and this Olympic year. Meter dash. Let's go to Paul Romanoke now, live in Ottawa. Well, thank you very much. And uh, Ben, there has to be pressure on you every time out these days to set a world record. Uh, is that too much to expect of one man? Well, it is. But right now, I just whenever 
come to the track, I always do, do my best, so that means I don't put really pressure myself. It's necessary. Ben, something I've always wondered about, a sprinter of your ability, when you run as fast as you do, are you competing against the guys in the race, or are you competing against the clock? Well, uh, I think I compete against the clock because uh, there's no one right now in the world who could, uh, could the type of speed I have right now. But, but it, was, it, it still looks good. Ben, with that in mind, you're competing against the clock, but does it depend on who you're racing against? Does somebody have to be there to push you, or could you just go out and run on a track with no opponents and still set the times you do? Well, I could I could go on a track and, and, and set the record, but uh, I missed the record by one of the tens, but uh, I, I was very pleased with my time. Uh, I'm doing a lot of traveling for the past two and a half months, doing a lot of endorsement in L.A., flying back and forth, and a lot of different things, but uh, I'm pleased with my time right now, so uh, so let's go for this summer. The world record for this event, of course, uh, for the 55 meters is six seconds flat. Ben running is 6.1. Uh, ben, as far as the future is concerned, are you trying to gear yourself towards the Seoul Olympics? Are you following a, a strict regime? Well, right now, uh, I'm right on target right now. I'm in like better shape than I was in, in, in those last year, and I'm in better shape than I set work in Rome. So this year, I'm, I'm looking for at least 970, sir. Can you size up your competition looking ahead to the Olympics? Is there one man in particular? Is that man Carl Lewis, perhaps, who you're still looking at as the man to beat? Well, he said that he's going to be a, a war in Seoul, and that's the first time he read about that. So it's, it's definitely going to be a war in Seoul. So I'm looking forward for, for that. Ben, congratulations. Thanks. Ben Johnson running a 6.1 in the 55 meters in Ottawa. Paul Romanik, we thank you very much for that live report from Ottawa. You know, last August 30th, on a warm evening in Rome, Ben Johnson ran the greatest 100-meter dash ever run. He won a world title that night and world record time 9.83, a full tenth of a second ahead of Carl Lewis. Look at him lean at the tape. He lost just a little bit in the last maybe 20 meters of the race to Lewis. But he got out at 12 one-hundredths of a second, the fastest time ever recorded by man in that race. Carl Lewis took 19 one-hundredths of a second to get out. That's a difference of 7 one-hundredths of a second. And remember, the difference between the two was 10 one hundredths. So there was a almost no margin was uh, Carl able to, to make up. And as a matter of fact, after the start, he lost still three one hundredths of a second to him. Look at the strength of Johnson at the finish. As magnificent as that performance was, it was the culmination of a remarkable year for the Canadian Ben Johnson. 19 finals in which Johnson was undefeated. Watch him, watch him lean at the tape. You see Lewis give up just a little bit there as, as the eyes look over to see what's going on.